this is the bleach that uh, that was over bleached and this is my dreadlocks so as you can see it's very loose and it easily strips away like boom see that easily just pulls away another video of active version universe today is a new day and we got a what we got a banger 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 let's go <laughs> let's go today i'm gonna give you guys three tips on how to bleach your hair but before we get into it i just want to say thank you guys for almost hitting 30,000 followers when we hit 30k i'm gonna be doing a dreadlock reviews for you guys so make sure you guys are sending me your on my instagram your dreadlock journey so that i can react to it and also exciting news coming up a new channel coming up right now not today but soon so wait on it it's gonna be exciting i'm excited to announce it but without further ado let's get into the video so that's it since you're in charge of the bridge you're standing in this gangster's way that means those guys we fought in the forest they were working for gato uh, hmm. i don't understand if you knew he was dangerous. This has been 30, 30 minutes and it's looking like this right now. Continue to leave it in there to see what it will end up turning like. So guys, this is what it looks like uh, after the bleach has went through the whole entire thing. And so I'm gonna wash it out now. So as you can see, it's very loose and it easily strips away. And this is why bleach can be really terrible for your hair if you overdo it. It is literally, it literally starts to strip out the hair, like it has never, uh, like it has never done it before. See how the, the strong piece slid out of the whole entire locks? The judges see that. This black piece, which is one of the only ones that I see, this black piece literally came out of the whole entire dread perfectly because it's strong enough strong enough not to just break or whenever i pulled it when it comes down to like you know your dreadlocks going through something you know when you're sleeping maybe when somebody pulls it when something happens to it, it doesn't strip away easily because it has the strength of the melanin and it literally when i pulled it out of here if i see another black one like you will literally see it pull out and that's the only black one actually I saw. Boom, this is done. Like, boom. See that? Easily just pulls away. Just easily. Versus the black one. It's just like, it's hard to break apart. It's not really stripping, just sliding between my fingers versus this, it's just strips, 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 strips. And this is why bleaching your dreadlocks and overdoing it can be really bad. Now I wanted to make a warning video because, you know, you guys see me a lot of times bleaching my hair and stuff like that. And you guys may not think like, I know the consequences if it goes wrong or you know, if I, if I do anything like overdoing it too much or something like that. But I do. I know what it can do. I really know what it can do. And this is even like after one time. 
uh, bleach it. People do it like two, three times, and the result is crazy in what it looks like. It's just like a sad to see. I'm gonna show y'all currently what my hair look like. So you guys can see if it is strong enough or no. So right here, I can literally tell right here. The bottom pieces are the ones that are like go through a lot more than the top pieces. Because these one at least get some kind of things from nutrients at least from the scalp or something like that. But at the same time, they as you go down, you're going far away from the roots. And so that's why a lot of people end up, you know, even trimming their hair because their hair starts splitting and starts becoming unhealthy at the end. So automatically, I can I know that the bottom piece is, I mean, I bleached it four times, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I try to do it as minimum um, time as possible so that it don't strip away. So my hair, you can see it basically holding on to it. So the bottom piece, I told you, as I said, is the part that's like can strip away easily. So what it's telling me is that, you know, it has some kind of grip to it. It's locked up pretty good. And it's also dreadlocks, which means that most of your hair in your head right now are not really connected to your actual root to your head. Uh, as you lock it up through time, you will start to have you know a little bit of breakage or a little bit of losing uh, hair here and there, and end up you know being stuck with the dreadlock because it's like they all coiled up, they all uh, wrapped up with each other, so you know they're not letting go of each other, which is good. That's why I love dreads. You know, it's kind of like a teamwork type of deal that they, they be doing up here. So with that being said, you know most people when they comb out their dreads, they lose at least half of their lock hair that's inside here because. It's just like it's intertwined, and most of it are already a dead hair, meaning that they don't have roots, they don't have anything attached to the main part of your scalp. Uh, but at the same time, whenever you bleach it, of course, it becomes twice of as much of losing hair than dreadlocks without any bleach and stuff like that. So whenever you, you know you taking a, a step to bleach your hair, you gotta know the risks, man. It's not easy. It's not. It's not a, uh, a healthy choice for your hair. But at the same time, it's like it's what you wanna do with your journey. Everybody has different journeys. Uh, it's like condemning somebody that cut their dreadlocks because they wanna go to a new hairstyle. People can you know start hating on them telling them or start condemning them like oh why'd you cut your dreadlocks i wouldn't do that i wouldn't do this it's just like okay you wouldn't do that you know what i'm saying like okay but that's not the case it's not you right like it's not you they cut their dreadlocks because maybe they want to move forward maybe they want to start a new journey or what maybe they they got tired of it so it's like let's not condemn somebody for doing something that they want to do let's just help them out get to the place that they want to get to so for the people that want to dye their hair bleach their hair and different things i'm here to help you get there the most healthiest way without you having to lose any hair without having to use, you to lose any type of dreadlocks and i don't know why people condemn that uh you know oh i, I hate bleaching hair i don't like when people bleach their hair i don't follow them because they bleach their hair and different things okay if that's not your journey that's not your journey you know what i'm saying let's not condemn somebody for doing it uh, let's just help them through it so for those of you guys that have been uh looking to bleach your hair uh I, i'll give you guys some tips as i as I uh, show you basically what not to do, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help you guys not strip out your hair because it could be really dangerous uh, when it comes down to bleaching your hair. First tip is that don't overdo uh, bleach. So if you have done one set of bleach uh, for 30 minutes using 30 volume or less, wait about a week or so or give us some time, give us some break, oil it, give us some conditioning, different things that can help it bring back you know, the natural kind of uh, nutrients in it and then come back at it again and bleach it a second time a week later or so. If you want to do it in a day, just keep the limit of 30 minutes uh, per bleach and don't go over that because the moment that you're trying to over time it, uh, you will actually end up damaging your hair because bleach activates as the heat, as it starts to absorb some heat. And it starts to absorb some, uh, some heat, the bleach starts to expand. And it starts to expand, meaning that what uh, what was in the beginning, small, small percentage of bleach end up being bigger and bigger and bigger. And as time goes forward, it goes actually bigger, even like faster. It gets bigger faster at first it might be going slower and that's why i recommend 30 minutes and that's about it and after that literally the bleach starts to expand and i showed you guys yesterday what that looked like it didn't foam up like this yesterday this is all foam right here because it expanded to that much so literally foam you know, at first it was kind of like a liquid mixture. Now it's like a foam because it expanded, 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 and air started getting into inside of it. So yeah, don't overdo it. 
that's my first tip. My second tip, the dyeing or bleaching your hair, actually bleaching your hair comes first before dyeing it, is that you do not want to touch your roots up. I guarantee you, do not touch your roots. I have never touched my roots. By accident, maybe one time I got like right here, and I feel like that's why I'm like, I start balding right here, to be honest with y'all. I did, oh, okay, I'm gonna watch my words. I'm not balding, stop it. Um, but I got my hair, like my hair got lighter a little bit right here, but do not touch your roots, man. Don't touch your roots at all, at all times. And if you end up touching your roots, like I'm telling, like I'm telling you in the first tip, please limit it to a certain amount of time and try to avoid your baby hair, man. These baby hairs are like what protect you for your hairline, man. You touching these baby hairs that will bleach, man. And baby hairs are one of the hairs like they, they won't come back if you cut them like in, within the roots. Like if you uprooted them, usually they will not come back. I know that. You know, as you are young and different things, they may be there. You know, they may be coming back a little bit here and there. But later on, literally, they will be gone. Like, they will be gone. <laughs> and you cannot line yourself up after that without baby hair. Like, most of your hair that you line up your hairline with is baby hair, man. And so, be careful from touching your roots, man. Do not touch your roots. And I recommend, I guarantee, I, I just tell you all right now. Don't touch your roots. But if you end up doing it, limit it. But I, I don't think I will ever do it. <sighs> okay, and then the third tip, the last but not least tip, and you gotta listen to this. Do not bleach your hair, man. Don't bleach your hair. <laughs> the reason I'm saying this is because if you think about going back to the original color of your hair, there's no way back. There's no way back. You chose to go on a bleach and you chose to bleach your hair, there ain't no going back unless you regrow your hair out and keep the original color. But the original color, the moment you bleach it, is done. You can bleach it black or you can dye it black, but that's not the original color that you have. That's the pigmentation that comes with your hair and skin. And once you strip that pigmentation out of your hair, that pigment is gone, it's stripped away. It is, uh, it is donezo. It is done so there's no going back my man so just think about these three tips before dyeing your hair and the third one actually gonna catch you off guard because you're like what don't bleach your hair you bleach your hair no i'm not saying that i'm just saying there's no going back that's the third tip there ain't going back my brother my brother my sister you trying to bleach your hair there ain't no going back i said there's no going back you cannot go back all right scares you enough so these are the three tips hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys uh, enjoyed the video hit thumbs up subscribe there's somebody else that can you know benefit from it bleaching the hair you know shit share it to me send it to me in my dms but till next time keep acting reverse and creating your universe i'm activeverse and i'm out you did this is the bleach that uh that was over bleached and this is my dreadlocks not so easily coming out huh but this one, look at this. It just strips away like so easily. Over bleached, my current dreadlocks. And I'm gonna be attaching these in an upcoming video.